Hello and welcome to this demo on how to install SQL Ledger. That is uh, sqlledger.com. And to go to the software, this is the website of the software. For those who are new to this channel, there's a video on this uh, website. You could check my channel for that video. First and foremost, there are a lot of buttons here, but we want to install. So we are going to go to the download. Once we click on it, this is what we are going to be presented with. The latest version of the software is here presented to us. And the instructions, installation instructions are in this readme files, which you need to read very very well and in linux you need to give command you don't just click anywhere so if you click on this uh readme file you read it carefully you see the requirement for the installation these requirements must be fulfilled and they are going to be um followed uh, religiously to make it uh, work if you miss any of the steps, it means the software is not going to work. So there are different types of installation. Installation with setup.pl, where you make a directory on your system. There is user, local, and then you create this uh, file and you copy. You copy the, the, this the setup.pl to that. Then you can do installation without the setup.pl. You could also follow up all these instructions here. Once you follow this, you set permission to it. This is a permission that you're going to set for it and the other installation. But I am not going to dwell much on this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, prepare my own. Uh, installation to do that installation we first of all we will log out of this we log out of this uh, window and then we go on because we must follow the steps that were given to us there so we now click on the terminal the terminal will be our starting point and we are told that we must install Apache so to install Apache, we must issue a command that by pressing the control D. Then we go ahead and we now create a database by typing su postgrid. Su postgrid. And you press enter as to type a password you type it then you create the the database user just type it create user dash d space dash capital P dash testing testing that will be the name of the database and you click on enter it will ask you for a password and you, you enter it again and you press enter having done that you click on Control D to come out of that. Now, having, having created the database, you need to make some changes. So you are going to log into the um, the Postgres. You are going to log into the Postgres uh, SQL and make some changes. And you do that by issuing this command. 
and you press on enter you'll be presented with this you are to change you are going to change some things here already have made some changes which is local we're having a um, um, peer here I mean Postgres here we have changed it to all and we have peer just like we have it here we change it to trust then we are having MD5 here and we change it to trust once you make that those changes the next thing you need to do is just to come out of that by clicking and closing it up then you need to restart the Postgres SQL by just typing the command sudo service Postgres restart and you press enter hope I typed it correct sorry it's postgres sql let's correct it postgres sql and we press enter and it will restart so that the changes can take effect yes they have then the next thing is to install the the, the fourth part of the requirement that we have the fourth part of the requirement that we have here was that we should install the database management so we just go into the terminal again and we issue this command and press the enter to go ahead and install the latest of that it has already done that then we need to database interface and we click on this We issue this command to install the database um, let, me, let me take off and once you press enter it has that was also has been installed so the next thing we need to do now that will help us is to change directory by clicking on by typing the command cd slash user slash local now before i give that command let me go in manually because we have downloaded the software we need to have downloaded it we are going to go into the software and I'll go in here I'll make just some I don't want to be giving the commands I'll go in and click and it will ask me to type my password which I'll do and I have a file there already I'm going to local I'll just copy this file here just reproduce it I'll copy it and paste I'll rename it as test or testing testing I haven't done that where is the file this is the file I'll just edit and remove some things from it I'll remove some things I just need to edit it yes I need to edit that I will also edit because there was another file that was there I remove that too now go to this one and delete
okay so far those are the ones i need to delete i will now close that one let me close this also i will then put a slash here and type testing all small letters I press enter and it has taken me to the location of the software I will then go ahead and uh, make some uh, change the the file that is SQL ledger dot um, config dot default I'll change it to SQL ledger dot config by issuing this command that has been done I will then go ahead and issue another command to change the permission now to give you the permission for the templates because without doing that the software will not work press enter that has been done so the next thing we do we're almost through we now restart we can now restart say sudo service apache to restart once you press enter it should start automatically this is the conclusion of our installation to test it we must go to the browser we have one here i'll click on this and type uh, localhost i'll type on localhost localhost slash testing slash admin dot pl and press enter good i will now be presented with this window here i will to type my password i'll type it again to confirm and press enter it is here that i will now add the database i'll click on add database i will type here the user is testing testing sorry testing and then input the pass the password you can see i'm ignoring the host and the port the software is going to pick it automatically i click on continue now it is here that i will now type the name of the database and the name i will maintain is testing testing i can put the name of the company just say the testing company company sorry testing company and this admin it's admin that we use this you now click here you can put the email here you put a password here for it create a simple password you could use a template and it will go there are default charts of accounts here that you could use if you want but it's better to leave it at default so that you just select the default chart of account for you you go ahead and click on continue and wait for the software good it has now created the software we are now going to log into the database and to log in we just go ahead and type in login and press enter we are presented with this window here and we need to put in our password when you put in the password we click on continue enter it will ask that upgrading to version 3.2 click on continue and here is the software 
and it is from here that you can you know go ahead with whatever you want to do with the software so thank you for your attention if this soft uh, demo has helped you please click the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much i'll see you in my next video